Hey there guys, what's up? Ragta here, and I am proud to announce some new additions to the team. There have been some change-ups, and I did warn you, I might not use every Pokemon that I catch and give an awesome nickname to. Again, it's nothing personal to the person that I give the nickname to. It is just that- ooh, whoops. It is just that I am very picky. So, uh, some things you'll notice. I now have Nate the Houndour, named after one of my best IRL friends. Lusik is level 12. Zack is a Butterfree as last time. Now, I wanted to name my friend Cameron, who is Nate's brother actually. His, one of his favorite Pokemon is Lucario. And I wanted to name a Riolu after him when I caught it. But I flubbed up. See? This? This Riolu? This Riolu is bad. But this Riolu is good! Bad. Good. Bad. Good. So, when I get to Castalia City, I will rename this Riolu to Cameron. And, uh, just to be fair. So. I also have the names and teammates that I would like for the future planned out, but I will not tell you who they are and what nicknames they will be given just yet. I want to maintain a bit of surprise there. So, I, during our separation, as you will, as there was a small amount of time between when I recorded the fourth episode and this fifth episode, I did a bit of grinding. I got each of these current Pokemon that I'm using to level 10, Lucic to level 12 obviously, for the purpose of making the battles a little easier without quite invalidating them. Like if I ground, grinded, to level 20 on each Pokemon, or level 19 I guess it would be because at level 20 they'd stop obeying me, then I would make every fight super duper easy, but it wouldn't be very interesting to watch. So, let's continue on with the story here. That cry! You found it! What a relief! Okay, I'll go call its trainer, and you stay here with it. You little pest. I'm a member of a group that strikes fear into the hearts of those that stand before it. Team Plasma! Ever heard of it? No. Uh, really? We're the righteous group that tried to conquer Unova two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Whatever. Fools will never understand us. Dude, did your dad, like, not let you to go to a Creed concert when you were 13? I mean, grow up. Still. First, I got lost chasing her deer, and now some nosy kid caught me. All this is your fault. Take this! He, uh, he threw a TM at me. Garrett obtained TM-21. Frustration. Okay, I'll use this opportunity to retreat for now. What a... Get your skinny ass back here, boy! Aw, oh, her dear. Come here, baby. Who's a good her dear? Oh, scratch, 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 scratch. Her dear, what made you come all the way back here? Well, at any rate, I'm really grateful for your help, you two. Awfully calm about this. Your Pokemon might have been gone for good. Take better care of it. Whoa, man. I think he's like twice your age. Better watch your mouth, yo. Hmm. I wonder if something happened to him. Oh my god. It's like something did happen to him. He's afraid of losing Pokemans. Come on, her dear. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. Well. Guess I'm free to... Do what I want now. Dance in the snow. Dance in the snow. Garrett is gonna dance in the snow. Well, that was a fun waste of time. Let's get out of here, yo. Beep. Whoop. Oh, look at the puppies. Do you give me things? Thanks! It's all thanks to you and your Pokemon. You're really great. Hey, is that it? Did Alda train you? No, I did it myself, thank you very much. You and your Pokemon found her dear. Great. Yeah. Yeah, sure is great, lady. Thanks. 
you know, a little appreciation. Not too much to ask. I got it. I'm happy. Alright. Alder, train me. Oh, it looks like you delivered the town map to your friend. Hmm, you were only gone a moment, but you and your Pokemon have grown. Why, I could almost mistake you for someone else. Well then, instead of training you, I would like you and your Pokemon to give me a hand. Oh god, I forgot the bad touch. <laughs> oh wait, there was a Pokeball there. No, I want to go get the Pokeball. Oh, are we going to help train that person, sir? Oh, really? Well, that trainer looks really tough. That's right. This trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you to just enjoy Pokemon battles? So, Garrett, please be their opponent. I'll show you what's cool about my Pokemon. I need to stop reading after they've gone, but I, I'm just so impatient. I'm challenged by Seymour! Oh, of course he leads off with pan poor. Well, that's fun. That's fun. I have a solution for you, pan poor. His name is Lusik! Sorry, Nate. You'll get your chance later. Go, Lusik! Smack him with your smacky vine. Ow, he scratched me, you little punk. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh, no, don't hold your claws. Don't do that. Stop it. You don't even have claws. Your hands are like mittens. You, you, your biology literally features mittens. What claws do you have? Get out of here, you stupid monkey. Oshawa, huh? Well, nothing says... Fair matchup like Oshawott versus Snivy, right? This is fair. Sit down, Oshawott. Oh, oh, you're watering the plant, so thank you. Oh, it's so kind of you. Snivy, show them why they call you Smug Leaf. Sit down. Oh my god, that's a lot. Snivy, you're gonna evolve in no time. Snivy wants to learn growth. Um, no. With contrary, I don't want boosting moves. So we're going to keep the old moves. Give up on growth. Snivy did not learn growth. I beat Seymour. I need to get Alder to teach me some more things. Yeah, you do, buddy. Yeah, you do. That was a fine battle, both of you. Well, next we have... Ready! First, we have to heal your Pokemon, Garrett. Oh, thank you. You assumed I was lost there. Some Pokemon battles are determined, decided, by ma type matchups. Some. Not all. Most. A lot. Several. Oh, her name is Cassie. How cute. And she has a Panseer. Hi, Panseer. I bet you have a Tepic, too, don't you? But you have a Tepic, too, don't you? Let's, uh, let's get out of here, neat, and let's go into Riolu for now. I don't really have anything to deal with fire types at the moment. It's kind of inconvenient. I mean, I could sit there and try to poison it, but that's not going to be any fun. Alright, Riolu. Smack it with your smacky fist. Okay, that did nothing. I'm really tempted to try to use counter, but I'm not... Alright, let's see. Alright, that did too much. Go, Butterfree! Free, free! Free! Butterfree! Oh god, no! Butterfree! Oh, that did nothing. Well, in that case, Butterfree, use your air cutter and blow it away. Butterfree isn't scared. 
Butterfree's never scared. I knew it would be a Tepig. Keep battling, Butterfree. You're going to blow this thing away, too. Show who's boss. Oh. Oh, but it only used Tackle. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's right! You're not a fighting type yet, Tepig. I'm silly. I'm a silly billy. And on the plus side, Zack the Butterfree leveled up. Oh my gosh. Stats are getting high there, Zack. What? How could have I lost in a tight matchup like this? Hey, you counter-teamed me, you cheater. Serves you right. That was... I... <laughs> that was truly a rousing battle. <laughs> I could tell that all of the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. Make him stop! How about it, Garrett? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? Water is strong against fire. Fire is strong against grass. Grass is strong against water. Type matchups don't decide everything, though. But listen, when a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move becomes more powerful. Let's heal those hard-working Pokemon. Houndour, you did a great job for Garrett. His name is Nate. Meeting Pokemon and pe- Oh, sorry. Meeting Pokemon and people you would never have otherwise met is truly one of the great things about traveling. It- Yeah. Can I, can I go now? Can I go? Is it safe? I'm, I'm gonna show the lawyer. Oh. I know this is sudden, but nice to meet you. Now don't say anything, just take this. What is with all these weird ass people? And this is the guy that gives me the metal box. Blah blah blah, yes I know about it. So basically, this is a really, this is achievements for Pokemon basically. What you basically do is you, just like achievements, you meet certain goals, you go to a Pokemon Center, and then this guy will give you a medal for them. So, I'm not, I mean, if they come, they come, and that's fine, but I'm not terribly interested in that. Garrett, as for the newly opened Pokemon Gym in Aspersia City, I heard a new gym leader has arrived there. You should go and test how strong you've become. That's not a hint or anything, is it? over here. I found an X-Speed. I'm gonna sell it. How useless. Let's see. Does anyone remember in like Pokemon Red and Blue how Giovanni would use dire hits and all that sort of stuff on his Pokemon? Sure worked for him. Why can't I make it work for me? Right. So we're going to move... We're going to move this Riolu, which has a nice name, but not very nice stats. And, uh, yeah. We'll keep going from there. Okay. And what do you have to say, Miss? No, no, actually, I'm going to ignore you. I'm just going to ignore you. Your Houndour is male. I want. Okay. So she basically points out that there exists gender differences. Here's a little advice, keep lots of potions. Here's some more advice, keep lots of Pokeballs too. He's in league with the store. I read the help on the PC. I feel I became smarter. Well, pin a rose on your nose. No, really. You should be proud. You can read. Fantastic. Garrett! Oh my god, how'd you get up there? Stop doing that! You're going to break your legs! Excuse me. I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. Oh, Orinberries. Thank you. Those are Orinberries. If you give one to your Pokémon, its HP will be restored. What's more, you can give your Pokémon a berry to hold. Like this Oran Berry, for instance. When a Pokemon holds this berry, it can eat the berry if it gets hurt in the heat of battle and regains some of its lost HP. Well, I just told you to challenge the gym leader. 
Aspersia's gym leader is a very strong Pokemon trainer, but you have nothing to worry about if you think hard about what the Pokemon at your side can do and what you should do as a trainer. Victory will be yours. And then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Working together with your Pokemon is what makes you grow as a trainer. As you and your Pokemon grow stronger, your world will get broader. Okay, well, now that we've had our fortune cookie read to us, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.